Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel with the new lecture. Guys, as you know, we started construction of how step by step series. So guys, this is the step number three, construction of house. Step number three. And the topic is in step number three, construction of house, foundation selection for house construction. Before this video, we record it if you did not watch so click on the i button and how to prepare house construction site or preparation of site for house construction but in this video i will tell you it's very important to select a best foundation for construction of house right so this is the topic for today let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new so guys foundation selection for house construction how you can select a foundation but for normal domestic house construction we can use normal foundation that is shallow foundation I have already discussed in many videos what is foundation and types of foundation. If you didn't watch types of foundation and if you want to know about different types of foundation and what is foundation, so click on the I button, this one, then you are able to watch the video for types of foundation. Okay. But now I will tell you in step number three, what is foundation? So guys, foundation is a part of building or is a part. Uh, is the part of house which transfer the load of structure superstructure to the foundation okay or to the soil because foundation is the lower part of the building which transfer the load of superstructure to the soil okay now guys selection of foundation it's very important to select a best foundation for house and this is cheaper foundation which I am telling you okay guys uh, as you know uh, we have a foundation and foundation we have two types okay foundation one is called shallow foundation and the second one is deep foundation But this is a normal domestic house, so therefore we will select a foundation in shallow. Okay? So guys, in shallow foundation, in shallow foundation we will select um, that is called isolated isolated or spread footing for columns this one we will select because because it can support the domestic house load okay easily so we will select isolated spread footing for normal domestic house so you can select this one so guys as you can see isolated or uh, spread footing is so this is footing and this is column and this column between so the size of this footing should be if this is two story or three story so you can select four by four feet size of the footing should be four by four feet okay and uh, the column should be one feet one by one feet or nine by nine inch you can also select so this is called spread or isolated footing and at design for design for column for vertical loads we design isolated footing or spread footing if the columns uh, the columns distance is less or if there is less distance between two column we can also uh, design combined footing guys so this is combined footing as you can see this is 
combined footing if the distance is less we will design combined footing okay guys but the depth should uh, not be less than 1 meter okay the depth should be 1 meter but for 4 by 4 feet the depth uh, the depth should be about 5 feet depth okay or if size of the car if footing size is for example guys 3 by 3 feet okay so we will take depth should be it should be 1 meter or about 3.5 feet okay so this is for a foundation selection for house construction now guys come to the uh, wall okay so this is for columns uh, this is for columns now guys for wall okay so uh, for load bearing wall because this is not load bearing wall because we have also here a column so for wall you can select a foundation which depth should be 2.5 feet and width should be 2 feet it's okay okay so this is the this is for wall so for normal domestic house construction we should select and shallow foundation not, not in deep foundation because i have already discussed in many videos types of uh, deep foundation and types of shallow foundation but we will select the shallow foundation for normal domestic house that's why because there are not uh, we don't need more strength okay because for a mega project we use deep foundation okay now one other uh, point remember guys that is if the bearing capacity of the soil is bearing capacity of soil if the bearing capacity of soil is low there guys in shallow foundation we have the other type that is called raft foundation okay so we should also provide if the bearing capacity of the soil is low in the case of low bearing capacity we need raft foundation so for that we will excavate all the covered area for house construction and after that we will provide a slab in the raft foundation on the slab we will design columns okay but in the case of low bearing capacity in the case of low bearing capacity low bearing capacity okay if the bearing capacity of the soil is normal or high so we don't need raft foundation okay we need uh, to do isolated or spread footing for house construction so guys uh, this is the step number third or three foundation selection for house construction and for wall the depth should be normal is 2.5 feet should be the depth for wall and width should be 2 feet okay in next video guys in step number fourth i will discuss how to start layout okay because after selection of foundation we will start uh, from the drawing building drawing we will start uh, layout and after layout uh, we will also do its excavation so what are the process for excavation and points to remember uh, during uh, excavation work okay remember guys i will complete this series construction steps of house step by step so therefore you must watch from start to end or start to finish then you are able to learn something new about construction step of house so it's very important for non-civil engineering student or for non-civil engineers that's why because it's very important uh, nowadays everybody want to start building construction or house construction so if you learn all these points so also you don't need any contractor okay so you can provide all the facilities for your house construction if you want to do by yourself 
right so if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply to answer wait for next video excavation layout and excavation thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye